Would you like to hear the location character and extent item first, or would you prefer to move that to the end of the agenda? Thank you, the Okay, so the um, first item on the regular agenda then would be the location character and extent final review of the Churchill water tank replacement at 714, 714 North 30th Street. Ms. Catherine Easterling with the Commission of Architecture Review. Um, this project is in the Old City Old Historic District. She will be presenting the Commission of Architecture Review's um, recommendation on this. Good afternoon. Um, this property is located in the Churchill North Old and Historic District, and the Commission of Architecture Review uh, unanimously approved on the consent agenda um, the replacement of the existing water tank. Uh, with an in-kind uh, water tank. Uh, as you can see, it's located, the existing tank is located on a parcel between M and N Streets and at North 30th Street by Ethel Furman Park. Um, the existing tank was constructed in 1954. It's about 58 years old, and the city has determined that it's reached the end of its useful life. They considered uh, rehabilitating the tank, but they didn't find it economically feasible. And so what they're doing is proposing to utilize the rest of the site. They're going to be constructing a water tank with the exact same proportions, dimensions, appearance um, that will hold the same amount of water on the site. And uh, they're going to allow that tank to be set up and constructed and run for a few months and determine whether or not it's working properly. And once they determine that it's working properly, they will demolish the old tank. Um, Nothing will um, change on the exterior of the existing pump house here. I believe I have a few better photographs of the property. Um, there is a street lighting substation on the property, and that will be moved, but um, the amount of equipment won't change at all. Uh, so they're going to reconfigure the site, but essentially it's going to be the exact same amount of equipment with the same appearance. They're proposing to landscape and screen some of the equipment uh, at a later date. They're also going to be removing the chain link fence that's around the parcel and replacing it with a much more appropriate uh, metal picket fence that would meet security requirements. They're also going to be uh, utilizing a corner of the property. They will not fence that in and uh, hopefully at one day that will be a community garden space. So they're going to leave it unfenced for the community. Uh, as I said before, the Commission of Architecture Review uh, unanimously approved this on their consent agenda on November 27, 2012. Thank you very much. Are there questions from the Commission presented regarding item 8? All right. Thank you, ma'am. Hearing none, we will now go to the public hearing. Are there persons here who would like to speak in favor of item eight? Yes. My name is Scott Berger, citizen of the city of Richmond. I just wanted to briefly say that this would be a, I think it would be a good opportunity for exploring the use of solar energy. Um, there's a large roof space there that could be used. There's a facility that uses electricity right there. Um, it could be good for disaster recovery. Could be good for distributed energy. I just think that's something that ought to be considered. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? All right. Are there persons here who would like to speak in opposition to item eight? The public here is now closed. Back to the commission. Commission, what is your pleasure? I'd like to uh, bring up my concerns and get some reaction from the group uh, here. Uh, essentially, uh, I consider this an eyesore. The reason the Commission of Architecture Review supported this project is because it's a replacement in kind. It was interpreted as a replacement in kind. However, if we were building this new, this would never fulfill the requirements of the uh, guidelines. The guidelines talk about human scale and providing uh, architecture that's within human scale for the neighborhood. And human scale is something that breaks down the scale, has smaller elements on it. <coughs> And uh, I just think that this is a uh, somewhat of an affront to the district or to the neighborhood, and would love to see options to improve the, the environment over what they're proposing. Any comment? Any reaction? Well, from, a I'm sorry. from a technology standpoint, are there other ways to store how much water? 
I haven't done a whole bunch of research. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious. I think that's up to yeah. uh, the up to staff. Or, uh, I didn't know whether maybe then there were some other models. I did go look online with some mm -hmm. options. You know, you can start to approach it a little bit to, to create some sort of screening around it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I haven't seen any of that in, in, this, in this design. Right. And I would like to see the options. I mean, it's a pretty ugly site. Yeah. Up, up there. And it's got a huge negative impact on the district. Do you have any idea what those types of changes would be as far as cost wise? Am I done? What you're really asking for is staff to come back with some alternatives? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes. I think this is a case where, once again, um, this is brought to us as a final review as opposed to a conceptual review. So the applicant left out a step. Perhaps these questions have been answered months ago. If we don't go to the review first. Or maybe we would even know whether or not um, other options have been <coughs> evaluated and cost about or not. Did the cost of that or not. Could I ask the staff person a question? Yes, sir. Go right ahead. Is there a, a pressing need to do this immediately? I don't believe so. Um, Ms. Janice Bailey is the contact within the Department of Public Utilities and she could speak more intelligently to that. But um, I don't believe that it's a very, very urgent need at the moment. I believe they're planning on getting started this summer. So a delay of 30 days to do some further research would cause no real harm that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of, no. But perhaps I'm not sure if there's anybody from public utilities here. There might be somebody from public utilities here to speak to this. This has to go to BCA as well. So we can't act until you act. That's what you know. It's still a 45-day process, so I don't see any way to respond to the task and expect to go back to some other alternatives. Um, like to make that Did I make a friendly amendment to your motion? Sure. And that could be when they come back to us with these cost estimates also? Because okay. that's going to be. Okay, so would this be a deferral or would this be a denial? Uh, I'm going to uh, move to defer until staff can come back with some recommendations and the impact and cost of those recommendations. You can add as you mentioned that, and I don't know what the time sensitivity is on this. Is your time sensitivity on this? Uh, yes, we would like to go ahead and replace the tank um, because it is uh, reaching its useful life. Uh, we did look at uh, possible uh, two tanks on the site, um, and what drove us to the one tank was the cost uh, for the improvement. Did you look at other ways of Reducing its impact on the neighborhood right now, we feel that the negative impact. On the well, that one was when we looked at the two tanks. Also. And how about burning and grading and cleaning and, and all those things? That well, we figured we would co cover uh, the burning, would probably be, be with landscaping. You could uh, mount up, but that would not affect the tank. That would be a uh, Breaking the scale of the mass a little bit by uh, doing something on the facade of the treatment. You know, the, I guess, is it all concrete? Yes. So there could be treatment to the concrete to change the character a little bit and correct the scale? Um, we have not looked farther into that. We looked at maybe uh, the color. Maybe we can tint it some to diminish some of the look on it. Uh, one of the things that was brought up was a, uh, a living wall, I guess you could say, of plants. but. Just the upkeep of that um, it would not benefit, I guess, the site. And, and we felt after a while it would not be able to maintain it, just all the needs that it would need to uh, isolate or put a fence around of that uh, living structure. Well, I would love to see some options that would bring us more into the residential character in some way uh, of the district. Um, maybe you can ask him something together, so I'm going to stick with my motion to defer. Uh, we can really move to make that a 30-day deferral. A 30-day deferral, yes. <laughs> All right. Now it's second that motion has a motion to report you, ladies and gentlemen, to defer for 30 days. Mr. 
Are there questions or further discussion? All in favor indicate that you sign. All right, very good. The motion passes unanimously. Uh, it may be that if, in the worst case scenario, you might paint some windows to make it look like a building. <laughs> <laughs> that will give it the residential character. <laughs> Next item, Madam Chair. The next item on this afternoon's agenda is item number nine.